Hey everyone, welcome back to Electroheads, the channel where electric scooters and e-bikes take center stage. In today's episode, we're focusing on the iScooter iX5. This scooter is more than just a commuting option. It's a statement. It promises to revolutionize your daily travel without actually draining your wallet. We'll be taking a deep dive into its features, performance and overall value. So if you've been contemplating an e-scooter that won't break the bank, that might just break the mold, stay tuned. By the way, if you're in the UK, you'll know that electric scooters are currently illegal. So here's a reminder to the keyboard warriors that the internet is in fact accessible outside the UK. Oh, and if you're watching this and hate e-scooters, go get a life. If you are in the UK, you can always use them on private lands. So this video is aimed for those who can use them. So just calm down. When I first laid eyes on the iScooter iX5, it reminded me of a penguin attempting its first flight. Ambitious and slightly perplexing. At first glance, it's a visual feast, boasting impressive components and promising specifications that make you do a double take. It's not just about the specs though. This scooter comes with a dazzling array of lights that could give any nightclub a run for its money. Today, I'm going to put the iX5 through its paces, testing whether it lives up to its bold claims or if it's merely another spark in the pan in the fast evolving world of e-scooters. Diving into its specs, the iX5 has a top speed of 28 miles an hour. Its range is impressive at 28 miles, outlasting not just your expectations, but also those New Year's resolutions we all forget by February. Or sooner. The scooter's lightweight design suggests it might have been on a strict diet. The battery life is a standout feature, offering more longevity and commitment than some of my past relationships. The addition of a removable seat is a clever touch, perfect for those moments when you need a break, but still want to zip through the city with purpose. Riding the iX5 with its seat installed is an experience in itself. It's akin to floating on a magic carpet, albeit one crafted from springs and lacking in traditional comfort. Gliding through the city streets is a breeze, but once you hit uneven terrain, the ride becomes reminiscent of an overzealous massage chair. I felt stable and in full control. The seat effectively provides a welcome rest for tired legs, yet it adds an element of mischief. I found that riding it seated takes a bit of getting used to, as the ergonomics are very different from riding it stood. But in a straight line, it's a bliss to sit back and relax. While the six points of suspension do their job, making those potholes seem like mere dimples on the world's largest pancake, which for a bit of trivia, was cooked up in Rochdale, England, and measured at 49 feet in diameter. Now, if you're interested in the iScooter iX5 after watching this video, then check out their website. There's a link in the description of this video, or you can click the pop-up in the top right corner for more details. Anywho, back to the scooter. Removing the seat transforms the iX5 into a completely different beast. It connects you more intimately with the road, for better or for worse. Its ergonomics make you want to go flat out most of the time and make you want to practice your slalom skills. It's perfect for smooth roads, offering a ride that's both exhilarating and serene. However, on less forgiving surfaces, the experience becomes much more tactile and dare I say adventurous. The suspension will soak up all the bumps. In a straight line in the city, it's more than enough. All right, let's talk about the iX5's ability to tackle different terrains. Now, this isn't just some lofty claim. It's the real deal. Over steeper hills, I can feel it somewhat struggles. Right now I'm going through some deep mud and it's plowing through. Cruising through city streets or hitting off-road trails, the iX5 handles it like a champ. This is more for your comfortable daily commute. It's like the little sibling of the Nan Robot LS7 Plus, packing a whole lot of fun in a smaller, more affordable package. And the tires? They're fat. They're pneumatic and they can grip onto pretty much anything, which is more than I can say about my ex's commitment skills. But the real game changer is the suspension. Dual front and rear. They just eat up all the bumps. So whether you're weaving through the city traffic or going off the beaten path, the iX5 is your go-to for a ride that's as smooth as it is thrilling. Let's talk about what the iX5 is really made of. At first glance, its components and build quality give off a budget Lux vibe, like a hotel that's photogenic but reveals its budget-conscious choices 
upon closer inspection. For its price point, the build quality is commendable, aligning with the adage of getting what you pay for. While it's designed for regular urban use, pushing it to extreme sports territory might be a bit optimistic. Expect a few battle scars on the scooter, as the scooter is made of a soft aluminium alloy. In terms of value, the iScooter iX5 is like stumbling upon a hidden designer gem in a thrift store. It packs in features and performance that outstrip its modest price tag. It's akin to hitting a mini jackpot. Not the kind that allows you to retire early, but definitely one that adds a significant spark to your daily commute. It's an ideal match for the urban commuter, who desires a bit of flair and efficiency in the ride without the financial burden of a high-end e-scooter. The deck is wide enough to put both feet forward, so you can ride facing forward. Personally, I naturally like to stand sideways. I'm kind of used to it already now, to be honest, so I stick to it. But for those who like to stand straight, you can. All right, let's go over these bumps. Yeah, smooth. Wrapping up the iScooter iX5 brings reliability, a surprising amount of capability, and an undeniable fun factor to the table. It's not without its flaws, the build quality reflects its price, and its all-terrain capabilities are more aspirational than practical. However, for its asking price, it offers a riding experience that's challenging to surpass. Thank you for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this review and found yourself intrigued by the iScooter iX5, don't forget to hit the like button. Your support means the world to us. Subscribe for more insightful reviews where we dissect the latest in electric scooters, e-bikes, separating the true innovators from the fleeting fads. Thank you for watching Electroheads. See you in the next one.